What's up guys? It's Miss Jenny coming back to you again this week from Keystone Church Kids Ministry. I'm so excited that I get to hang out with you again this week with your family. So grab a comfy spot, maybe a bowl of popcorn or a blanket and get comfortable because we've got a lot going on today that you're not going to want to miss. All right, so all month long, we're talking about forgiveness. And we've been talking about the definition of forgiveness. That is the decision that someone who has done wrong to you does not have to pay. So sometimes that can be really hard, but I wanna talk about three different things. First of all, forgiveness is not a feeling. Sometimes that hurt doesn't go away right away and it takes a little while. But in the end, we still have to forgive, whether we feel like it or not. The second thing is forgiveness is a decision. It's a choice. We choose to forgive people. It doesn't mean that what they've done is okay. It doesn't mean that what they've done isn't wrong. And it doesn't mean that they can do it again. But it's our choice to forgive because that's what God calls us to do. Forgive one another the way he has forgiven us. And lastly, it's not always easy to forgive. Sometimes it can take days or weeks or months. And if you're still having trouble forgiving somebody and you know you really need to get over it, you can always pray and ask God to help you, help soften your heart, help you to make the choice to forgive. We also might have to do that more than once. Sometimes we'll forgive somebody and they'll do it again or they'll do something else that will bother us. <coughs> or they'll say something and it brings back all of those hurt feelings again and we have to calm our emotions and remind ourselves we have forgiven them and we've moved on. All right, I know you guys are just waiting for the so-and-so show. Yeah, that's what I thought. This week, the ever so hilarious but very insightful, so and show is back and they are talking about another part of forgiveness. Okay, you need to be careful with that stuff, all right? I am being careful. See, look, I have gloves. Do you have gloves? Wear your gloves, I've got gloves. Okay, but you're not wearing the gloves. You say potato, I say whatever. Okay, uh, seriously though, the glue in your hand, it sticks to anything instantly. Oh, so I know, really... trust me. I, I, I will never forget the cat incident. Oh, I don't think the cat will either. It's fur will grow back eventually, okay? Okay. Now here, hold these. Okay, why? Because. Good answer. Now. <laughs> uh -huh. Ha! Why, why? See, look, because their hair, it's so soft, feel it. Oh, mm. Super right? soft, yeah. Oh, sorry. Here, let me get that. No, I got it. Don't worry about it. All right. Wait, you're. Uh, <laughs> you know what? There is no problem. I'm just gonna pull it off like this. Here we go. And one. You're. Uh, huh. Don't worry. Not an issue. I got some. Oh, I got some glue remover down here. I'm okay, just gonna go okay. grab. Bread it. Bread it. <laughs> a little help. Bread it. Yeah, yeah. Just a second. Huh? Where, where are you going? Brandon, 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 where are you going? Can you help me? Ooh, what is that? Can that get me out? What is, no, no, no. I'll help you after this. No. Smile. don't understand. How is it that complicated? Look, just because it's your way doesn't mean it has to be my way. But That's it's all not I'm saying. my way. It is. There's a right and a wrong way to do things, and clearly a you're right on the wrong, wrong side way. of the That's road, like mister. There's a right and a wrong way to tie your shoes. There is a right way and a wrong way to tie your if shoes. If your shoes are tied, it's the right way. Hey, guys, uh, we're rolling. Welcome, Welcome to, to the So-and-So so Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And, and we're, we're glad, glad you decided, decided to watch today. today. We have an exciting show lined up. Isn't that right, Lawson? That's right, Brandon. So exciting. You're not going to let this go, are you? I don't have the slightest idea what you're talking about. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Fine. Fine. As we continue to talk about forgiveness this month, I wanted- I want you to admit that you're wrong. See, I knew you weren't gonna let this go. You're being ridiculous. I'm being ridiculous. Why don't you let them decide who's being ridiculous? Oh, they're just gonna agree with me. We'll see about that. Huh. Breaking news, Brandon, current co-host of The So-and-So Show, has been identified as a non-toilet paper replacer. Hey! Though some of his fans will be shocked by this incendiary information, Brandon has been a longtime follower of the belief that placing a new roll on the sink is good enough. We can also exclusively reveal that on the rare occasion when he actually does replace the toilet paper, Brandon places the paper with the end going underneath. I understand that these accusations against the longtime host of the so-and-so show will cause some to wonder if they truly knew Brandon at all. This has been a breaking news report. Thanks for watching. Now back to your normally scheduled program already in progress. Really? You asked for it. Okay, you're right, Lawson. You're right. I am? Yeah, I should have replaced the toilet paper after it was used up. That's the courteous thing to do. Thank you. Do you know what? I forgive you for being so uncourteous. Thank you. But what about that other thing? I will not apologize for how I install the toilet paper. There's not the, there's no right or wrong way to hang the toilet paper. Au contraire, mon frere. There isn't. I, and I'll prove it to you. What do you? Brandon, what's this? It's another way to hang toilet paper. Oh. It's also a game. Ooh. All right, so in our hands, we have a bunch of rubber bands. Yes. Right, and, and what we're gonna do is we're going to shoot the rubber bands at the toilet paper, trying to rip it at the seams. The first okay. one of us who can make two aluminum cans drop to the ground wins the game, all right? Mm -hmm. And we gotta do it blindfolded. Is that okay Ooh. with you? Yeah, actually, it sounds fun. All right. Blindfolds on. Okay, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Anything? Ow! I heard something. It was me. Oh, that was a little far off. <laughs> it hits it hits your finger on the on the point of exit. Do you not know how to shoot a rubber band? I skipped this part of my childhood. I went straight to division. Ow! I heard a can. Did it not fall? Woo! What? Wait, I need more rubber band. Is that, is that, two, that's just one, that's just one. Oops, sorry cameraman. How am I not hitting anything? It's like you've never done this before. Booyah! What? How did I not hit anything? Woohoo! Well, that was actually fun. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hi Kellen. You seem to be in a good mood. I know, isn't it crazy? What story do you have for us today? Okay, so last time I told you the first part of Jesus' parable of the prodigal son. Remember this? Previously on My Two Sons. Father, I want my inheritance. Oh? How much of it? Wait, let me think. Oh, that's right. All of it! Better not be eating that slop. That's high quality slop. Feed the pigs. My son was dead. But he is alive again. He was lost. But now, he is found. You remember that? Sort of. It's mostly familiar. Great. Jesus told the story of a father who had two sons. 
The younger son left and wasted his share of his father's money. The older son stayed home. When the younger son returned home, the father forgave him. And that's where we pick up our story. I can't wait. Cool. Now here's part two of My Two Sons. As time moves on, so do the lives of my two sons. Where are you going with all that food? Your younger brother has come home. Your father is throwing a welcome home party in his honor. <laughs> He's what? As you can tell, the older brother was not thrilled. He refused to attend the party, so his father went to find him. Why are you not at the party? Hmm. Why am I not at the party? Why am I not at the party? Well, let me think. All these years, I have worked like a slave for you, and I have done this and I have done that, and you haven't so much as thrown me and my friends a tea party. You know, Dad, me and my friends, we like parties too. My son, you are always with me. <sighs> but then my little brother leaves and he throws all your money away and he comes back and you give him a full-blown <laughs> carnival. <laughs> my son, my son, my son, everything I have is yours, but don't you see? We had to celebrate his return. <laughs> why, Dad, why? Why? This why? brother of yours was dead, <laughs> but now he's alive. <laughs> he was lost, but now he's found. <laughs> why? Why? <sighs> That's the end? Yeah, that's the ending Jesus gave us. Did the older brother forgive his younger brother like his father did? We don't know. I think Jesus told the story that way because he wanted us to put ourselves in the older brother's shoes. Would you be willing to forgive someone even if they may not deserve it? When you forgive, you're like the father in the story and our father in heaven. When you don't, you could be like the older brother, and you could miss out on a great party. Uh, are, are you okay? I got left at a party once. My mommy didn't pick me up. It was so scary. Soap <laughs> operas just do this to him. No, it's not that. I just forgive you for not putting the toilet paper on. Oh. I and I I forgive you for yelling at me for not putting the toilet paper on. Um, I'll just see you guys next time then. <laughs> bye, Kelly. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I have no toilet paper. Look at it. Thank you. <laughs> Reveal the. <laughs> Reveal the question. Reveal the question. Do the thing. What do you lose if you don't forgive? You can lose so much. Friendships, joy. I would have missed out on your awesome toilet paper game, Brandon, so thank you. You are welcome. I'm, I'm glad you're starting to rethink the whole toilet paper has to go over the top thing. Uh, no, I, I still disagree with you on that one, but we can disagree and still be friends, right? Absolutely. And besides, I thought of an even better way to install toilet paper. Ooh, do tell. <laughs> wow! Uh -huh. Hey, we'll see you guys next week for a brand new show. Bye, we'll see guys. how this baby works. Oh!
Oh, the room is spinning. Why did I do that? Was anybody else dying, cracking up at that video? Oh my goodness. Now it's normally time for our small group time, but since we can't do that together, I'm gonna put the questions on the screen for you to talk to your parents or your brothers and sisters together and have your own small group at home. Ask your parents or your grandma or grandpa some of these questions. Have a conversation with them about it. See what they think about forgiveness. Let's pray and then you can go on with your day. Father God, I thank you so much for every person watching this video, Lord. I thank you that you have forgiven us for all our silly mistakes and our serious mistakes. I thank you that you understand that nobody is perfect and that we all make some pretty stinky decisions sometimes. Lord, soften our hearts when people hurt us. Help us to see that the people hurting us are probably just hurting too. Help us to work through those really hurt feelings to find forgiveness. Lord, be with us and our family this week. Help us to make the right decisions. Help us to shine your light to others and help us to love one another. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's lesson. I can't wait to see you guys again soon, but until then, have a great week, be nice to each other, and don't forget to forget.